Hello there, my name is Pete Oswald. I'm the illustrator of The Bad Seed, The Good Egg, and our newest book, The Cool Bean. Today, I wanna to show you how I designed The Cool Bean, be using a, a mixture of pencil and real paint. I'll first start with drawing the character. The Cool Bean, he's a garbanzo bean, um, and he's round. What's so great about The Cool Beans and the cool bean and um, the bad seed and the good egg is that they're appealing. You know, I think ultimately when, when we're designing these characters and, and coming up with, with the look, we want, we want to look a design that appeals to people and that people can relate to. Um, and the other thing I think about when, when designing these characters is how is this character going to emote? Um, and that's why I give them these large eyes. And the and Garbanzo, he's a little bit wider than some of the er other characters, and he wears this really cute bow tie, which he likes to keep nice and tight. There's his legs, his other arm. He's got these four kind of wild hairs up top. Um, and what I love about the cool bean is that he is, uh, you know, he is himself, you know, he is unique and, and through the story he learns that being cool is about uh, being kind. So once I've drawn him, I will transfer it to what is called a frisket, which is like a giant sticker, and I'll trace him on here. And once I've transferred the drawing onto this frisket, I unpeel, it's called frisket paper, and a big sticker. Put it down on the illustration board. I usually take a paper towel or something that I can rub over it to get any bubbles out or anything, make sure that the frisket is sticking to the paper. And then I take my X-Acto knife, careful it's sharp, and I cut out the silhouette. And ultimately what this allows me to do is to keep the exterior of his body, keep that line really sharp, while the rest of the body shape, you know, and not getting it to, through on the other side of the paper. So I rip that off, and now I can start painting. So the cool bean, you know, he's a garbanzo bean, so get his color. yellowish and I'm using gouache acrylic paint which I like because it dries quick and it's opaque but then you can also water them down and treat them like watercolors as well so I've got his body in there he's got this little kind of widow's peak at the top of his head here okay we got that in and now we're going to paint his eyes Eyes are white. A favorite part of our, his character, for me to paint, are his little pink cheeks. I think it adds to some of the cuteness. So this part is really fun. It's kind of the, you know, beginning of the reveal of the character when I unpeel this frisket. Afterwards, we can add his legs and his eyes and his hair. So we'll peel the biscuit off. And there he has a really nice silhouette. Two little details left. His hair up top. Do I also do my hair? All right, this is the completed painting of the cool bean. I think you turned out all right. Thank you. <laughs>